my dear students how can you solve the problems of wave motion in a just super simple way uh, with minimum explanation that means fastest way of understanding the concept and simplest way of solving the problem let me discuss about two problems in one shot okay so you can just see the first problem if you observe the first problem what can you see in the first problem he has given a wave equation what he has given he has given a wave equation okay let me write the wave equation and try to explain what is this actually so you can just see y is equal to a sin kx minus omega t okay you can just see the wave equation and let us compare that wave equation with a general equation okay it's x is there means it is kx and t is there means it is omega t that's it very simple way i can explain you here so from this it is understood that k is equal to 8 and omega is equal to 4 isn't it k is equal to 8 and omega is equal to 4 now just see here try to understand what i'm going to explain now it's a simple way to understand see here in a circular motion any body is having linear velocity as going in a circular motion means it is also having angular velocity it is also having angular velocity a body rotating in a linear velocity the faster it moves with the linear velocity the larger will be the angular velocity that means it is understood that angular velocity is directly proportional to linear velocity the greater the linear velocity the faster will be the angular velocity that's it then what you will do if you remove the proportionality you will get a constant that is k v okay and in the problem is asking us to find out the velocity then what is the formula for velocity velocity is nothing but omega by k omega by k you all know what is omega you all know what is k also so 4 by 8 which is nothing but 0 0.5 meters per second your answer is ready so super simple way i'm going to explain you okay the so first problem is over let us go for the second problem let us see what is going to happen here okay so to understand the second problem you should know one thing that let us imagine this is a wall and rope is tied to a wall rope is tied to a wall and you are going to make the rope move up and down then what happens continuously if you move the wave up and down you can just see that there is a wave which has been created okay for example here For example, here if there is a pulley and you are hanging over the pulley with certain weight, okay, this is the tension. The greater the weights you add, the larger will be the tension because you know mg is acting downwards and tension is acting upwards. The greater the tension, the greater the weight. You add more weights, tension will increase. You know what happens when the tension will increase? You all know velocity is directly proportional to root t. And you also know velocity is inversely proportional to root mu. What is mu actually? If you take a wire, what is the meaning of mu? Mu is nothing but linear density. Let us imagine the mass of the wire is m and length of the wire is l here. So linear density means mass by length. Linear density means mass by length. Okay, mass per unit length. That is called as linear density. So here it is understood that if you join these two what are going to get now if you join these two you will get that v is equal to root of t by mu that's it v is equal to root of t by mu here it is seen that in the problem he has given you linear density he has given you the tension also a simple method is you can just take v is equal to root of t what is t here 70 and what is mu here it is 7 into 10 power minus 3 okay so if you simplify this one you will be getting c option that is 100 meters per second so this is going to be the answer for this question hope you have enjoyed the simplest method of explanation thank you very much have a nice day